a circuit show the pulse code modulation demodulation that's this is a section of minus 5 volt to plus 5 so analog signal output changing amplitude changing frequency this is a bipolar to unipolar conversion section convert minus 5 volt plus 5 into a 0 to 5 volt this is the output section of bipolar conversion section Conversion clock generation section, serial shift clock output, parallel to serial conversion section, ADC conversion section, let's say modulated input show at there and demodulated input show at there. The so parallel conversion section, display buffer, and that's a pulse analog output section. Firstly, connect minus 5 to 5 volt into a bipolar to universe, uh, unipolar conversion section. That's here. That's the output of bipolar to unipolar conversion section given to the input of ADC controller section. So, the jumper wire. Then, if the conversion clock output into ADC controller section or a conversion clock into a conversion clock input of serial shift clock. So the serial shift clock output given to a serial shift clock. Another of serial clock into a serial shift clock. Then, as same as connect the parallel load clock output, this to this, or this to. Same matching the color yellow to yellow. At last, serial data output to serial data input, modulation output to demodulated input. That's the connection shown at there. Switch on the trainer. Whether no input and no LED will glow. This LED will show the pulse output. Whether we give some input, that's these two LED show a modulation, and same as these two LED show demodulation. Input output. Same as the input vary minus five volt to plus five volt. As same as the input, same as the output. Same as input, same as output. At the maximum plus 5 volt, all LEDs of input is glowing. As same as all LED of demodulation is glowing. This is for pulse code modulation. DC for the AC change the connection just only change this to analog input switch on the CRO connect the CRO output Ground of CRO connected here. And check the sampling output. There. Switch on the gate.
see the sampling output of waveform. For changing the input, also we see the changing of output waveform. Amplitude change, and here is the frequency change. Sampling output. We see the demodulation and attack there. See the demodulated output. That's the whole process of pulse code modulation and demodulation. Thank you.